Nekaj ne. Tebi, Džona Kikov. Tebi, Folč. We can't hear him. He's speaking though, I think. David, hi. Sorry, can you hear me? Yeah, got you now. Brilliant. Hi. Hi, Sarah. Congratulations on the recent marriage. Ah, <laughs> thank you. I wonder, um, when you were away, and obviously it was a very exciting end of the season, um, were you tuning in and what were you, what, were you kicking every ball? <laughs> Well, I was definitely tuning in. Um, our last game was the same day as my wedding, so the last game I missed. Um, but the rest, yeah, absolutely tuning in and cheering on the girls because uh, we had some important wins, especially the one against Rangers, to make sure that we qualify for Champions League. It was really exciting into the season. Um, are you looking forward to the Champions League this season? Absolutely. Um, it's a personal dream come true, you know, making, um, reaching that goal and having that accomplishment, but also for the team, especially coming off our first year as, you know, being fully professional. This is fantastic that we've been able to progress and, uh, yeah, reach this goal. Best of luck for the season, Sarah. Thank you. Okay, Cleo. Hi, Sarah. How are you? Good. How are you? Very well. Thank you very much. Um, I just wanted to ask you how, obviously, how it is being back playing with the squad, playing with the team, but also having that sort of more sense of normality with, you've had a full pre-season now, you've had, you know, friendlies that you've been able to play and we're going back to a bigger stadium, you'll have fans in, it, does it feel, does it feel different this time? Yeah, absolutely. Like you said, the normality of it, um, you know, unfortunately we don't always get as many fans in a stadium to begin with, so I think we didn't miss you know that noise but I'm hoping now that we're in a bigger stadium um, we'll be able to get more fans in and now that we've had such a successful year that we'll be able to you know have a bit more of that to you know have that 12th man supporting us with the fans um, so yeah definitely excited and it's been good just getting back into it having trainings every day not really needing to worry too much about um, you know having to stop and have a big long delay again so it's nice yeah, yeah great um, in terms of the European spoken to Fran about it, we'll speak to him again now, but he's talked about the Celtic being the underdogs in this fixture, um, it's a big team that you're playing, does that affect the way that you approach it and the squad approaches it, does it affect how you feel going into it, kind of knowing that that's the dynamic? Um, I mean, I it always affects it because you know we know that for the game tactically we'll probably need to just be really focused defensively because they most likely will be slightly better than us, but I think that we have been the underdog before, you know, all last season. We were definitely the underdog as well, but that didn't stop us from qualifying for Champions League. So honestly, I think it's a good position for us to be in because we tend to perform, perform well when we have that, that title. Yeah, and just for you personally, how does it feel? What does it mean playing in the Champions League? It means so much, especially just the fact that we worked to get here. You know, sometimes teams or um, players, they go to a team on loan just to play in Champions League, but the the fact that this squad fought so hard to get here, um, I think makes it super special. And it's a club goal, you know, for Celtic. It's a you know, specific goal for the women's side. And individually, it's been a dream of mine. So very excited. Yeah, that's great. Thank you so much, Sarah. Thank you. Thank you. And Natasha? Hi, Sarah. Nice to see you. Yeah, nice um, to see you. You've talked about um, the fact that you are perhaps going to be underdogs going into this Champions League game. But how important is it for your development as a player to be testing yourself against top opposition like this and playing in competitions like the Champions League? Yeah, I mean, it's massive for individual development, um, in, especially because we're you know, a pretty young team. So I think playing games like this are so important for individual players' development. Um, you know, we're typically just playing Scottish teams, and thankfully our league's grown, so it's been good for individual development as well. But being able to play top European teams, um, especially a Spanish team that has you know, very typically different style than us, um, will be a really good um, you know, learning time for us. ambitions and what do you want to achieve on a personal level this season? Um, I mean at a personal level obviously being able to be successful in Champions League and also just have you know a bit of a leading role help guide some of the younger players and um, just give them the belief that we can perform well um, and then you know in the league as well we even though we qualify for Champions League we still miss one of our goals which was winning the league so you know individually just helping you know support the team on the pitch as well as off the pitch to make sure that we do that. Thank you. Uh, Ewan? 
Hi, Sarah, how are you? Good, how are you? <laughs> so, um, obviously, you know, uh, knowing yourself, you come from quite far afield uh, and settled into the Sally team um, and adding players from Iceland and China. How has the cohesion been with the squad over the summer? Has it been quite easy, um, you know, introducing everyone and getting that cohesion back from last season? Yeah, honestly, it has been. All the girls have been wonderful. Um, they've all come in at different times, so, you know, some are still a bit new, but everyone's been you know, super willing to work hard and put in the effort and learn as quickly as possible. Um, and thankfully, we've had a lot of games as well, which I think helps um, so that you can kind of immediately get that cohesion as a team like you were talking about, because, you know, games are the most important thing where we need to be on the same, you know, playing level and have that chemistry. So having that early with all the new, new players has been great. Um, and I just wonder, in terms of domestic football this season, um, obviously the Sully team surprised a lot of people it's definitely surprised a lot of people with mm -hmm. the quality on display. Um, do you feel like uh, you and the rest of the squad have more of a sort of target on your backs domestically? Do you think there's going to be more of an appetite from other teams to, you know, to, get, to get points out of, out of yourselves? Or uh, do you think there's additional pressure? Yeah, absolutely. I think us Rangers in Glasgow City all kind of had a little bit more of a target on our back being some of the professional teams um, in the league this year and um, just historically having results as well. And now that, you know, again, we did better than people expected, we'll maybe be rivaled for one of the top teams that people want to beat. Um, so, yeah, I, I think we'll have a little bit of a target on our back, but um, I think we still are maybe a little bit of underdogs because we didn't win the season, um, the league. So that's fine with us. And we'll just continue to work hard and make sure we're our best. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, I think Amy, uh, last but not least. Hi, Sarah. Uh, Amy from TNT. Um, have you had a summer? Yeah, I mean, it's great. Got married and it was, you know, best day of my life so far. So it was pretty good. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank um, you. I was just wondering what you and the team's biggest focus has been in preseason. Um, especially when it comes to getting yourselves in the right mindset for this big Champions League game. Um, I mean, quite a few different things. Um, you know, obviously preseason, just getting our fitness back in general. Um, and I think we've done really good at that, especially having lots of games and playing competitive teams. We've really focused on tactics as well and how we're going to press. Um, and so I think that's really important so that we, again, are all on the same page going into that game because how we play, you know, we need to be one unit moving across the pitch, forward, backwards, side to side, all that. So um, I think just focusing on tactics and making sure that we've all got it down going into Champions League. Cool, thanks very much. Yeah, thank you. Okay guys, all good? Thank you very much, thank you. Thanks guys.